Good morning, everybody. We just woke up in Pacific City. We're here with Andrew and Michelle and Eamon and Beck and me and Allie and one of Eamon's friends, Blair. I think we're gonna go try and do some dune buggying today or side by side or quadding. I don't, even, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, we just got up trying to get our day started, trying to do a little bit of work. I think we're gonna go for a run, get a little bit of exercise in this early morning. We're parked right on the beach here in Pacific City. It's like absolutely beautiful, even though this morning it looks like really gray and gloomy. And the clouds are like really low set. We're super excited to get our day started. Good morning, everybody. We've been up for a couple hours, cranking out some work, trying to get stuff done so we can go play and enjoy the day. It's a little, a little rainy, but it's kind of nice, a nice break from the heat of Portland. So I'm enjoying this chillier morning. And I think a run in this temperature would be prime. So I think we should make that happen. I don't know if you guys have seen our daily lattes video, but we do enjoy a good latte in the morning. Uh, however, our friends Amy and Beck enjoy a good chai in the morning. So I think today we might um, get a little tutorial and get a little woke on the chai game. They're gonna baptize us into the chai, chai movement. Let's get started. Stuck. Pulled pretty deep into the sand. Oh, there they are! There they are! They're right here! Oh, what's up, what's dude? Up, dude? Boom! Smack it! How are you? I'm good, man. So it's actually really pretty wet and really cold. So I don't think we're gonna go for a run this morning. I think we're just gonna do breakfast and some coffee, and then we're gonna try and lock down these quads or ATVs or side-by-sides or dune buggies or whatever they are. We're gonna try and lock those down so that we have some fun activities to do today. But now let's go eat. So that like sticky feeling you get when you have dried salt water on your hands, yeah, on your gross. skin, it's like how I feel right now. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna run. It's raining. It's raining men. It's raining women. It's no good. And we're out of milk. The dog is drinking a lot of water. He's staying hydrated. I need to hydrate on some coffee. Molto bene. Grazie mille. Coffee, coffee. Si, si, si. Also, we just found out that the dune buggy place that we wanted to rent um, some like sand cruisers is booked out till Monday. Today is Friday. We're not doing that today. We're not going for a run right now because it's raining. We can't walk the dune right now because it's raining. No, it's like, it's not really raining to the point where you can't be outside. It's just very cold and windy. So if we layered up and put on like our shells and stuff, we could go hang out up there. It's just like not It's just as like lightly fun. sprinkling. It's just not as fun when it's, you know, coming at you from all directions. Did I mention that I wanted some coffee? Oh, hey. We're uh, gonna be making some chai today. Eamon from Eamon and Beck, who also owns Chaiwala. Just just me, Beck doesn't own it. I'm the sole proprietor. I don't know who owns it, actually. <laughs> no, maybe Beck owns it and Eamon just works there. I have no idea. That's true. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, Chaiwala tea, or Chaiwala. Chaiwalachai.com, oh, fresh yes. blend chai, all natural, no added sugars. Boom. They that's, make their chai. That's how we pay for our diesel fuel. Me and Allie have never had chai, so they're gonna show us how to make a wicked chai latte right now, and that's what we're whipping up, and then we're gonna give you a full review of how delicious or not delicious it is. No, no, no. Regardless of what you think, it's gonna be delicious. It's right? <laughs> part of the ceremony here. You got that 120 frames per second slow-mo coming at you right now. Okay, and that's just six dollars and fifty cents. Wow, that's amazing. Six fifty is insane. <laughs> it's a good price, eh? We charge fifty cents extra for oat milk. <laughs> mm, that is quite delicious. Since we didn't go for a run, we might go surf. We're gonna 
air down our tires, drive out onto the beach, do some slack landing between the vans, and then maybe hit some surf. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're just letting the air out of our tires so that the tire flattens out more, so it's more like a cat track in the sand so that we don't get stuck. We might still get stuck, even though we're doing this with the tires, so we shall see. You guys ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> this is sketchy. What's, oh my goodness. Hello. Hello, that's so cute. What's, um, what do you think? I'm sure if anything happens, uh, Blair can pull us out. How likely are we to get stuck? 37%. 37. Yeah, right. I put those numbers. <laughs> 73 or 37. Yeah. So um, Trent says we're 37% likely to get stuck. Andrew said we're 73% likely to get stuck. Eamon thinks we're 100% likely to I get said, stuck. He said 98%. Oh, 98%. Okay, so it's not necessarily guaranteed, but I think there's a, a risk here for sure. But we're going for it because carpe diem. Carpe diem. YOLO. <laughs> There's definitely a hundred people on the beach that could pull us out, so I'm not like super concerned. No, they land. Feel, like while I was driving right here, I could feel it. See how it's like really it's deep right there? Yeah. I could feel it like slowly peeling as I was driving and then I kind of came to a stop and now we're screwed. Did you ever? Wow, babe. I'm scared that he doesn't know why. I got this. Maybe uh, let more pressure out of this car. Slowly got pushed out of the sand. Eamon is talking Trent into some ludicrous activity. Eamon is so stoked right now on how stuck we are. He's like grinning and so happy to be able to shovel us out and push our van so that we can get moving. There we go. Back in action. I mean, you can see like there's spots where it's like really compact and wet and yeah. you're like floating on top of it, no problem. Then you get into this and like- Does it feel heavy? Well, it's not necessarily that it feels heavy, it's my tires. They're yeah. one, tight, one ton tires, so they're like seven ply. So yeah. they're like, they don't really flatten out and they don't really have any tread. No. So like as soon as it gets any sand packed into the tread, like yeah. I'm just peeling out yeah. this whole yeah. time while I'm driving. And like even right there, it looks pretty solid, but I tried to back up when I stopped and I can't back up. Oh so my like, God. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be digging out again. Oh my God. Probably super I, underexposed right now. I'm terrible at slacklining. I don't know if you could tell, but Trent's got it going on. This is awesome. We're having a blast out here. It's gorgeous. The rain stopped. The sun is out. I'm having, I'm having a good day. Good day for good sure. Good people. Good weather. Good food. We're probably stuck on the beach, yeah. but that's fine. Getting down onto the beach was like quite a challenge. I minorly got stuck getting to this location and getting out is like a steep hill with really deep sand. So we're gonna see how that goes. Yeah. Uh, we'll film it on the way out so you guys can see how treacherous it really is. <laughs> we're gonna go enjoy the beach though. Yeah. All right, see you in a bit.
you can see, the water from the tide is creeping closer and closer to the van. We are stuck and we are trying to push ourselves out. I'm, this is terrible. I'm pretty nervous right now. No, I'm gonna go back. Okay. Beck, myself, and Andrew pushed on the hood of the car while Trent reversed so that we could get some momentum and get out of the rut we were stuck in. We made it like four or five feet, feeling great, and immediately got stuck again. So now we're back to shoveling out, hoping that Eamon's friend Blair can run back down here in his awesome forerunner with a tow and get us out of here in time because the tide, of course, is coming up right now. Oh man. And that's like just in the past 10 minutes. It's coming up really fast. What are we thinking? I don't know. <laughs> it's the rescuers from Down Under. Look at the stress on this guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. We're so stuck. Why is Eamon so loving this? Forward, You're loving this are right now. I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, the water's not even touching the tires yet. I was uh, picturing it almost okay. floating. <laughs> That's not funny, guys. That's not funny. <laughs> All right, good luck, Trent. Thank you. Thank you. Whose idea was this? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> would that be helpful? All right, one. Oh. Uh, One, two, three, four. And they're just going for it. He's just being towed backwards all the way over there. made it up out of the beach. It was super intense. I totally thought we were going to get stuck, but luckily we made it out. I can't be by the van because the air compressors are too loud, but Eamon and Beck are over here airing up their tires. We're over here airing up our tires. Hopefully these air compressors hurry up because it is hot out here and I'm just complaining. We're at the beach. It's amazing. So we just got to where we're going to camp. Allie's cooking up mushrooms, broccoli, zucchini, squash. Aubrey's cooking up a uh, field roast. Beck is cooking up rice and she's cooking up peppers and onions. We're gonna make a Buddha bowl. That sounds delicious. I'm excited about it's it. It's gonna be really good. Hey guys. What's up? We had an amazing afternoon by the beach, watching the sunset, hanging out with some good friends. Can we say good friends? I don't know. Yeah, they're good friends. I feel like they're good friends. They're we just, new friends, but they're it's new, really but good. Like, it feels good. And um, somehow it ended up that we're having like a little dance party and a potluck dinner. So we're cooking up a feast, vegan of course, and enjoying the evening. We just wanted to thank you guys for coming along for the episode today. If you haven't liked this video already, go ahead and like it now. Subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. And also, if you're not subscribed to Eamon and Beck or Minimal Millennials, we're gonna link them in the description. Subscribe to them too, because they were also in this vlog. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Go, let's go. Where are you from, Maddie? Mm. Cuba. 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 Cuba.